So to start us off at the very beginning, I want to talk a little bit about what sourdough is, right? So sourdough is basically flour that is leavened with wild yeast. The yeast is a continuous culture. And there's two elements to sourdough. There's bacteria and there's yeast. And the bacteria is called lactobacilli. And it is responsible, its function is to make lactic acid. So it eats sugars and it makes lactic acid and it sours the bread. So if you have a really, really, really strong, sour, sour, sourdough, it's because there's lots of bacteria activity, okay? The other function is yeast. And yeast, its only function really is to leaven the bread with its byproduct, which is carbon dioxide. So the yeast are eating sugars at the same time that the bacteria are eating sugars, and the yeast are putting off the carbon dioxide as a byproduct of their, of their eating. The bacteria are putting off lactic acid, the yeast are putting off carbon dioxide, and both of those things working together is what creates the sourdough culture. So I like to call it a symbiotic relationship. Um, I love the way that they work together because they both have these great functions. Now on the plus side of sourdough, that lactic acid that's produced with the lactobacilli when they're eating those sugars, that sour acid, that is what is actually breaking down proteins that are hard to digest, like gluten, okay? And gluten is hard for a lot of people to digest, not just me, everybody, really. So gluten is an important structure for, for making bread. You need gluten, but you can have the structure while also breaking down that protein and making it an easier to digest protein. The lactic acid does also other awesome things like neutralizing the phytic acid, which is in all grains. It's um, basically an acid that keeps it from being digested well because animals eat grains. You want to leave them behind, right? And then they grow. So grains have this like natural coating on them um, that keeps them from being digested well. So when you add that lactic acid, it's going to break all those um, acids down. It's going to break the proteins down. It's going to create enzymes. It's going to boost the nutritional value by boosting the minerals and boosting the vitamins. And so you're really like getting this super awesome benefit by baking with sourdough over yeast. So lots of people would call me a sourdough purist, and I am. Um, I don't add any commercial yeast to my breads. I don't add baking powder or baking soda to my quick breads. I leaven all of my breads with natural fermentation. And the reason that I do that is because I am totally committed to um, you know, eating grains that are properly prepared. And if you followed you know, nourishing traditions, so the Weston and Abrams Price Foundation, then you know that this is kind of one of the hallmarks of that way of eating, is making sure that we're eating our grains, legumes, seeds, nuts, all of those things in a properly prepared way. So you'll find lots of other recipes on my blog that properly prepare all of these food sources, but right now sourdough is kind of it, right? Sourdough is the big thing, everybody's starting sourdough. And I want you guys to feel really confident about the science behind it, what it's actually doing, because it's so much better for you than white bread or yeast leavened bread. Um, and I'm talking rapid rise yeast because rapid rise yeast has only been around for about 200 years. And before that, um, for centuries, right, for thousands of years, people were leavening bread with wild yeast, also known as sourdough. So you guys, are, if you're into sourdough, you're doing something amazing for yourself, for your family, and hopefully you're sharing it with everybody. Um, give that starter away and help people make bread and teach them what you know because it's such a fun um, thing for all of us to share together.